Can we sit down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussion. Dope discussion. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussion. Dope discussion. Can we talk about it? Now I know that it will be a lot of guys out there that may have a major issue with a woman telling them that they should not listen to men about women in dating. But that is not at all what I am saying, okay? Men can absolutely teach you tell you, get you up on game as far as women and the whole nine, okay? Men will have a lot of insight on women because they are the ones that are ultimately dealing with women and the whole nine. So yes, men should listen to men about women and dating, okay? Okay. But what I am saying is this, okay? There are some guys out there that you should never, ever in your damn life listen to about women and dating. And the first guy that you should never listen to about women and dating is the obnoxious, arrogant lane with unattractive females. We know the type. This is the guy that feels like he is the man. He feels like he knows everything to women. He knows everything about dealing with women. He feels like he is just the alpha of all alphas. And he is not. This guy does not know the half about what it is like to deal with women because all he can attract to himself is females. And there are differences between females and women. Females are the bottom of the barrel. All right. They are not the women that any real man of substance or quality would want to be caught dead with. Yet you have this obnoxious, arrogant, lame guy that, you know, has an abundance of these unattractive females that no guy would ever desire to be with trying to tell you how to get a woman. And it's like, brother. Why should anybody listen to you? about how to get a woman, how to deal with the woman, when you have, respectfully, you have old hags, or you have washed up females, you have for the street scoundrel hoes. Like, come on, bro. You, I would never listen to you. A, a man should never listen to you. At all. Because you do not have the desired results. Fellas. Trust me, as your little big sis, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. He does not know. All he could do is teach you how to get passed up by the quality women that are of substance, that are attractive, that have things to offer to a man, like love, support, submission, respect, dignity, like goodness, grief. All he could teach you is how to get passed up by the women that you desire and how to attract the women that you don't desire. The ones that you, again, would not be caught dead with. 
don't listen to him. He's going to set you up for failure, especially if, if he's overly cocky and just arrogant and obnoxious. Like, come on. These are the worst guys ever, right? No woman that has anything of value about her is attracted to this type of guy. So why would you want to pattern yourself after him, let alone listen to him? Steer clear of this type of guy. He is not going to help you at all. Okay? So, yeah, get rid of him. Don't listen to him. He's going to set you up a failure. And can I also say this? Guys, like the first thing on my list, they're so lame, right, that they are trying to boost themselves up to feel like he is the ideal alpha, quote unquote, man by trying to teach other men to be just like him, right? If I can be the top notch guy out of the group, and again, I'm ultimately setting up guys to be with women, females that are unattractive, unappealing, not ideal, like the very one that I have, like the very women that I can pull. Again, I can rank higher because I am going to be the the most alpha out of that group. Let me put it, let me give an example. Let me put it like this, you guys. Let's say that you have a guy that is just a failure, okay? Nobody really likes him. When it comes to uh, men that are about something, they don't check for him. They're like, dude, you're, you're gross. You're corny. You're lame. Get out of my face. You're a loser. You have nothing going on for yourself. When it comes to them, he's always rejected. He doesn't fit in. So what he'll do is, you know, he'll go out trying to beat on his chest, make himself feel like he is the man. Because amongst the other real men, he doesn't fit in. And guess where else he doesn't fit in? With the ideal women. Again, he is lame and obnoxious, you guys. Okay? He's not it. Nobody really likes him. Men that have things going on for themselves, women that have things going on for themselves that are attractive, ideal, nobody likes him. Nobody's checking for him. So what he'll do is say, okay, since I don't fit in with the authentics, let me go get a bunch of frauds that can look up to me and teach them how to be just like me. Let me go and get a bunch of loser, failure guys that think that I am the alpha, right? And get them to try to be like me. And if you're going to be like me, guess what you're going to be? You're going to be obnoxious and arrogant and lame too. And ultimately, the attractive women are going to reject you. And the successful men are going to reject you. The men that, you know, again, are manly, authentic men. They don't like you. So you're going to have no choice but to join my flock. And when you join my flock of losers and lames, okay, then you're going to ultimately attract women that are just as unattractive as my woman or worse. And if I can beat my obnoxious, arrogant, lame drum the loudest, and my ugly chick can be prettier than your ugly chick, I can rule. And this is what they are trying to do, you guys. Again, don't listen to him. Run, okay? This guy could not sip alpha juice if he wanted to, okay? All he can get is lame juice. He does not have any alpha energy. He doesn't have any sigma energy. He doesn't have any successful. No, he don't got the juice. And so you don't listen to him, okay? He just has lame juice, and we don't like that, all right? So the first guy on our list out of the type of guys that you never listen to as far as women and dating are the obnoxious, arrogant, lame guys that have a bunch of unattractive, undesirable for the streets females flocking to them. Run. All right, you guys, let's move that along to the second type of guy that you will never listen to, okay? You should never get dating advice from women, advi none, none. The second guy is the angry, broken-hearted guy Yes, yes, yes. Let me sip. Let me sip. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 
This is delicious, you guys. You guys make sure that you go ahead and order your own personal box of alpha juice. You guys, this stuff is amazing and it's healthy for you. And you can use the code crownhead for $5 off. Okay. Don't say your little big sister and never made you healthier. Okay. Now let me go ahead and get into the second thing. The angry, brokenhearted guy, he's going to be too clouded in his judgment to give you the proper advice about women and dating. He's too scarred. He's too hurt, right? This is the type of guy that is going to keep you alone. He's going to keep you dry, if you know what I mean, because every little thing that he's going to say about women is bitches ain't shit. Don't ever, don't ever love a woman. Don't ever take a woman serious. Steer clear of women. Get rid of women. Don't look at a woman. Don't touch a woman because all you're going to do is use you and hurt you and break your heart. Don't listen to this guy. Okay. He's going to keep you from being able to, um, have somebody in your corner that, again, is going to properly love you and, you know, cater to you and, you know, give you that divine feminine essence and energy that you need, right? So you never want to listen to that angry, brokenhearted guy because he's not going to give you sound advice. He's going to poison you into believing that all women are trash and all women should not be trusted and all this, that, and the third. And while I can go ahead and say, as your little big sister, and be real with you, that there's a lot of females out there that are trash and for the streets, it's important not to allow those things to jade you, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You never want to be the jaded guy that's just like, oh, I just don't do it. You're going to block your blessings, right? And I'm not saying that you should marry women and all of that. You know, I'm not against marriage. Marriage is beautiful in my opinion, you know, as a married woman myself. But I'm not telling you guys to go out here and marry women and, you know, just wear your heart and sleeve and just be all extra open. No, I'm not telling you to do that. However, I do want you guys to be open to the idea of having a woman in your life that you can kick it with at the very least. And dealing with the, the broken hearted, angry guy, like he is not going to help you to be able to have any kind of fun with women, kick it with women, enjoy women and all of that. And best believe you guys, there's some really solid females out there that you can enjoy, that you can have a good time with. And if you're dealing with an angry, broken hearted guy, best believe all of his advice, all of his uh, words, feelings, Thought process, as far as uh, women are concerned in dating, it is not going to come from a genuine place. It's going to come from a place of, you know, such and such did me wrong and I hate women. And, you know, you just don't have time for that. And then I mentioned that that type of guy is going to be the most draining, right? Because as a man, you know what type of females to engage with. You know what type of females to not give your attention and time to. So to be around this type of guy, like, he's just going to piss you off like, dude, I get it. You had a, a, a terrible, poor experience with, with women, and you feel away. But my guy, just because you suck with women and dating does not mean that I, you know, will suffer the same fate. Relax. Chill. Get back out there. You could very well find somebody that is suitable for you, you know? And like I said, this man can be so draining because he's going to be negative in everything that he says, everything that he does, and he can turn you bitter and cold and angry and brokenhearted too. So again, do not listen to this guy about women and dating. He's going to just mess up all of your options, okay? You don't have time for that. Just get rid of him. Ugh, gross. Get rid of him. All right, you guys, let's move that along to the last and final thing on our list as far as the three types of guys that you should never listen to about women and dating. And the last and final thing is, you guessed it, the one that never had a woman. This really tickles me as your little big sis. It's like, how do you have the most advice about dealing with women and dating women and interacting with women? And how? When, sir, sir, you've never had your own experiences. Sir, all of the things that you are telling 
men to do as far as dating and women have come from the experiences of other men, other people, not you. So how can you then try to tell anybody about a woman if you've never had one for yourself? You've never had to deal with a woman on an ongoing basis for a long period of time, multiple women. You, you've never had that. So again, how can a guy that has never had a woman tell you how to deal with women when he's never dealt with one? Again, don't listen. Disengage, disassociate, don't have time for this, all right? He has to, first things first, get out there and, you know, figure women out for himself in a first person perspective and position before he can tell you anything, okay? And with that being said, you guys, that is my list of the three types of guys that you should never, ever, ever, ever listen to about women and dating. You guys let me know. Have you guys came across, you know, some guys out there that fit into any of these categories? And did you listen to him? Are you him? Y'all let me know. And with that being said, you guys, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And again, you guys, Go and get your alpha juice. This stuff is delicious and nutritious. You cannot beat this, okay? And again, use your cold crown head for your $5 off. Oh, I love y'all. Mm, I respect y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Peace.